not a bad little harvest this morning. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen and it is now June. You're starting to kind of harvest out all of the cooler crops and get them out of the beds. And then at the same time, you are starting to like plant in those beds your summer garden. Uh, this is very new to me. I have never done this before, but I am all for it and I'm excited. Guess while I'm at it, I'll pick. <laughs> Three. I'll give that one another day. Yeah, it takes a while <laughs> to get a meal out of this eating, pulling just three a day. I wanted to share um, how I have been kind of keeping track of my, uh, you know, my garden and my harvesting and what I'm doing to take notes and things. Originally, I was planning on keeping all of it like digital, all within Excel spreadsheets on my computer. And I just learned I, I want something more tangible. Uh, so I'm going to show you what I am doing now. And I made these worksheets. And so as you can see, this is for spring of 2024, March through May. And this is everything that I planted and the dates I planted it in all of my garden beds. And I also wanted a note section so that way I can uh, keep notes for what worked, what didn't, and just whatever I wanted to keep track of. And I'm also highlighting as I'm harvesting, like green harvest. So I was able to harvest, you know, some garlic, snow peas, lettuce, broccoli, whatever. Uh, yellow did not produce. Uh, that's like celery. I planted it and it really just didn't grow. It, I mean, they sprouted, but really they're just not doing <coughs> anything. Oh, excuse me. Purple grew, but no harvest. That's like maybe, you know, it started growing. It was looking good, but then, you know, maybe pests got to it. And I really, maybe I might have harvested just a couple of things, but not very many. So it's not worth counting as a harvest. And the other one is just pollinator pest control. That's just like, you know, I planted like nasturtiums in some of my beds. Um, I, I'm i not there where I want to eat those. I know that you can or put them in tea, whatever it is you do. But I'm not into that. So that is now how I am tracking. So obviously this is March through May and I'm already started on June and July. And I'm going to be filling this out as I... Um, go through this summer season and I also I I really like how I just package up in these bags all of the seeds that I'm going to be planting in June so I know I just grab this bag and everything that's in here I'm going to be planting in my garden this month I think this is a strawberry runner okay so it's wanting to spread. We're just gonna, I guess, put it in a direction where I want it to go. Um, what do you do? Just put a little, little something something on top of there to keep it to go in the direction I want it. I am anticipating harvesting all of my cabbages this month here in June.
looks like a peanut. Oh, wow. Okay. So here is my potato haul. <laughs> uh, not very many potatoes. Um, I can think of a couple of things I might have done wrong with these. Well, first of all, these were grocery store potatoes I had sprouted in my pantry. Um, so I just decided to try that as an experiment. And obviously I did get some potatoes out of it. Um, but the other thing is, is I did not hill them. I didn't keep them buried. Maybe if I kept adding like more straw or more um, dirt or something on top of them, maybe more would have grown. Uh, so we're going to keep that in mind for next time. But I have some taters precious. I have all these male flower blooms. I've just got this one, one female right here. No other females, just the one. I guess I'm going to try pollinating this one with that one. My first time ever pollinating a zucchini. Let's see if this works. A good portion of my onions have all bolted. Now what bolted means is when they go to flower to produce seed. And it is my understanding that once they bolt, the bulb does not get any bigger. And so I'm actually going to be harvesting uh, all of the onions that have bolted and um, I'm probably going to freeze them. I think I read that whenever you plant your onions from sets, which is what I did, um, there's a higher chance of them bolting. That is something that I learned. It's also my understanding that when they bolt, uh, there's no point in curing them because they're not gonna be able to store for long. Uh, so that's another reason why I've decided I'm just going to pull them so that way they don't rot or anything. Uh, I still want to get some use out of them. So I'm going to harvest them and freeze them. Oh, it's a baby. It's like a bouquet of onions. I have read that when I guess plants are starting to bolt, they kind of get like a, a woody single stem. So we've been having a couple of 90 degree days here in Georgia and I think my lettuce is starting to bolt. So I think tomorrow I'm going to we're going to harvest the rest of all the lettuce. And then I'm probably going to get this bed ready for the next thing to plant. Yeah, got a nice overflowing basket of lettuce. Salad season is over. 
until it starts cooling off again. Oh, now I'm starting to get these guys on my zinnias. Look at... Oh, I need to... I'm going to catch them and give them to the chickens. This is probably the most diverse harvest that I've gotten in a day so far. How exciting. It is the end of June, so we're going to close out this video with a garden tour. Now, this month, I'm, I'm a little disappointed that I wasn't able to harvest very much. Uh, one thing that I have noticed is, um, like, things are, like, my plants have grown, but I'm not producing a lot of fruit. And, and I think it might be a soil issue. Um, might have to do some amending to the soil uh, to be able to produce a little bit better. But here, we'll still show you around and show you what's growing and what ain't. These are the jade bush beans. And they are, they seem to be doing pretty good. They're growing nice. I've had these two cucumber plants in here. Nothing's really happening with them. Um, yeah. In these two beds, we have our okra. The okra seems to be growing pretty nice. We have the nasturtiums, and I also have more bush beans scattered in here in both of these beds. Same thing, okra, bush beans, uh, nasturtium. And then here in this little bed, we have uh, the cherry tomatoes and sage. Uh, I planted some other herbs and things in there, but they don't seem to be popping up. Over here, it looks like all of my zucchinis I planted around the edges have started to sprout, which is good. And along my trellis lines, I have um, some, I don't remember if they were asparagus beans or pole beans, I don't know, but they are doing all right. But everything else, all the seeds, like for the cherry tomatoes and whatnot I planted in here, they, uh, they are not germinated yet. And here in this bed, I have my cucumber. It has kind of stunted. Uh, I keep getting a little cucumber here and there, but they all actually... I have one, for example. They just turn into like these weird little balls. And that's it. Uh, so I'm not really too sure why they're doing that. And I have my kohlrabi. I honestly think it is getting too warm for the kohlrabi to do anything. So those are probably, I'm probably not going to be able to harvest those and might have to try again in the fall. But, you know, still pretty zinnias here in this bed. And I have this uh, golden zucchini plant that's just... You know, it's it's just here and doing its thing, blooming, but not producing any fruit. And over here in this bed, I have my row of peppers that are growing. And I also have um, my grape tomatoes that are growing. And these are asparagus beans that are like looky looky. <laughs> I'm starting to get some of those. So kind of cool. I planted cherry tomato seedlings along that side, and there's just not anything really happening with that either. And then in this bed, I, I had pole beans planted along the trellis, and I think I've harvested five beans. Yeah, just five beans off of them. So I planted some more down there, and they're starting to grow. And I got more bush beans planted in here. Uh, I got the trellis cucumbers back there. Not really doing much. I thought these two cucumber plants, I had harvested a couple cucumbers off of them. And I thought they were dying because they weren't producing any more fruit. But just recently, look, I noticed they're starting to get some more cucumbers again. So that's cool. Um, the carrots didn't make it. I think the soil was too hard and compacted. But look at these pretty zinnias. They are just 
marvelous. I love it. In this perennial bed, our thyme, I've been harvesting a little bit out of that. My raspberries are growing nice and tall. My two blueberries, my strawberries, sage, marigolds. Here's another raspberry plant. Not really planning, like, or not really expecting much out of this bed because this is all first year, like, me growing these fruits so but I have had a couple little strawberries and tasted them and they're quite good and uh like I keep getting little little raspberries in there and I've been having them as snacks here are my pumpkins in the pumpkin patch I don't know why the leaves are yellow uh, I just added some fertilizer because it is about to rain. But yeah, they're growing. I haven't seen any fruits or anything on them yet. And then over here in my sunflower corn patch, I mean, they're growing. They're not getting very tall, but I am getting little corns. Look at them. Aren't they cute? And then over here... I'm actually quite disappointed in this bed, um, and it's more like I I've only got three small zucchinis out of my five zucchini plants that I have in here, and yeah, no, that just kind of breaks my heart, but it looks like the leaves, some of them are dying back, and some of them are growing a little bit stronger, so I'm hoping that maybe they're going to have a comeback. Um, but these are asparagus beans, and they're starting to grow really nice here. And then over here on this bed, I have just a couple of grape tomatoes kind of growing along the trellis. And my cherry tomatoes over here, look, they're starting to ripen. That's pretty cool. And then I have my basil and peppers kind of scattered around over here. Okay, this bed, my cilantro, I just let it go to seed. I guess it's making coriander. Um, my pepper plants are starting to produce. So I got like some banana peppers happening, some bell peppers happening, and my slicing tomatoes are doing pretty good. I have cut some of them and I made myself uh, fried green tomatoes. Uh, so yeah, these plants are doing really well. In this bed, um, I harvested all the cabbage, and unfortunately the cabbage succumbed to bugs or heat. I don't know. It didn't do well. So no more cabbage in the bed. I got a little pepper plant down there. My little marigolds. I had planted some um, Swiss chard along the edges. And they're starting to pop up a little bit on the sides. And then here in this bed, I have been harvesting all of the Roma tomatoes. And um, also some jalapeno peppers. And I have been uh, pretty much um, ripening them indoors. And... Um, yeah, and freezing them so that way I can hopefully get to be able to make spaghetti sauce. My watermelon plants are doing really well. And I just noticed earlier today over here, look at him. Oh, ain't he cute? Oh, little, little watermelon. So, yeah, it's exciting. And here is my other perennial bed. It just looks kind of tragic. All of these uh, onion leaves, some of them are falling down. I don't know, I might have to harvest some of these. But my blackberry plants in the middle, they're growing, doing pretty good. Uh, I got some other things growing. I don't know if these are the herbs or the flowers I planted that have started sprouting. But yeah, that's the end of this bed. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, if you guys have any tips on how I can, uh, you know, improve my soil so I can get better harvest, 
uh, let me know. And um, also, if you like this kind of content, like and subscribe, and we will all learn and grow together. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a blessed day, and we'll catch you on the next video.